The letters, as I say, come in, and we've had a letter here, I don't know where it came from, a gentleman from Bournemouth, in fact, wrote in, and said, do you play in more than one room at the Crucible? Thank you very much. The Sandman who picks up the letters for me. He says, do you have more than one room in the club where the snooker takes place? A lot of things happen here in what he calls the club, the Crucible, and Mr. Eddie Charlton has been coming here for many, many years. He knows more about the tables than anybody because he spends more time playing on them than anybody. So we thought, what a good guide to show us around the BBC Crucible. Well, here we are at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, where all the action is with the World Professional Snooker Championship. And there's 900 lucky people get in here every session to see the snooker. And for the rest of the world that can't, it's all down here to BBC Television. Right, here we are in this magnificent theatre. And we have the two tables in use. Two tables are going at the one time. And right before play starts, down comes the dividing wall, the players are introduced, and the matches are on. Uh, over here, we have scoreboards for the players' benefit, and underneath the scoreboards are the commentary boxes, where the commentators and the summarisers are doing their work. Each table has two cameras on the floor, and you'd think playing snooker with those cameras there that it could be quite... Uh, distracting, but in fact it isn't. If your concentration is right, uh, you don't realise that the, uh, the boys are working away there. And this is the part of the Crucible Theatre where we have our practice table one, second practice table over here, and past this curtain, this is the studio of BBC Television. And this is the chair where the BBC presenters, David Icke and David Vine, are doing the presentations from. And over here we have the graphics for the captions and Leslie, the researcher. Well, this is some of the bits that you do see on the screen, but now let's go and look at some of the things that you don't see on the screen. Here we are in the videotape area, right here. And this is where all the recording is done of every shot that's played uh, over the 17 days of the championship. And you have to record every shot because if the player's not going out live, uh, we may have a situation where the horse racing is, uh, uh, is going to air. And a player like Willie Thorne uh, may be at the same time clearing the table at Snooker, uh, compiling a break of 137. With the recording that's always done, uh, particularly of the late night matches, uh, was my a recent match with Cliff Thorburn, uh, when we couldn't get all our frames into one session, therefore we didn't get them all into the second session, we actually came back a third time and started at a quarter to twelve uh, at night and finished at 10.40 in the morning to get our match finished and even over those hours every shot in every frame was recorded and, uh, and shown on television and that's uh, a marvellous effort really to be able to do it. So a titanic struggle between two old adversaries finishes at 20 to 3 in the morning. Well now we go from the VT van to this bigger van over here. Well now all the information and pictures that's sent to the VT van are sent from inside the scanner here. All these pictures at the sea, you see the director is watching the pictures and he's actually selecting uh, the shot that he wants to use from each of the three cameras in, in use. And he's trying to pick the, um, particularly the most exciting shots, those crashing long pots that can be really exciting. He's got to look out for all those. He's got to be very quick to do it. And uh, he's so busy here with all these switches, it's, it must be like flying a jumbo jet. Gee whiz, I don't know how, where all those plugs go. Oh well, obviously some of the cables come here. Well now here we are in the real nerve centre of the snooker that's going out from Sheffield.
Now, it doesn't matter what is happening with the cameras at the table or in the VT van or the scanner van. Everything must go through the Starship Enterprise here. And this is Captain Kirk of Sheffield, Mr. Keith McKenzie. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it amazing? It is amazing. That's occasionally why we get it wrong.